So here's our old friend, the C major prelude, and we've done some work with this before. Uh, however, this time I want to uh, show you that you have all of the tools now to explain the entire piece and to understand how the entire piece unfolds. I will post um, a key with all of the analysis, for example, the one chord, two, four, two, etc. I don't want to work through all of that in the video. In the video, I want to look at chromaticism. Okay, so if we look at this first page, this is all diatonic. F sharp enters here. F sharp is still here. And then here we get some chromatically altered pitches. We had F sharp, F natural returns. Here's an A flat. Um, looking through to the next page, F sharp, here we have E flat, A flat, here we have E flat and F sharp, and down here we get B flat, and that's all of our chromaticism. So let's look at the beginning again. And um, again, this is C major, this very common progression, one, two, four, two, five, six, five, one, sets the stage. And then the F sharp enters here, and we follow the bass line C, B, A, and it leaps down D, G. This looks to be like a five, one in the key of G. And if that's the case, uh, we want to look backwards to the point where the F-sharp first enters. Can all of this here be analyzed in the key of G? And the answer is yes. This is a 5, 4, 2. This is a 1, 6. And you can continue on. So let's go to the chord right before that. This is A minor 7. In the key of C, that would be 6. Six five, and in the key of G, that would be two six five. Two six five typically goes either to five or to five four two. So right through this measure, we get our common chord, leading us from the key of C major to G major. Down here, we get the B-flat and the C-sharp and the F-natural. This brings us back to the key of C major. And I know we talked about this once before, but this is a C-sharp diminished 7. This is D minor. This is B diminished 7. And at the top of the next page, this is a C major. So this is a 1 chord. Here, this is 7 diminished 4-3. And this is of one, but we don't need to put the of one. Here, this was a two six, and this is a seven diminished four three of two. A little bit of a sequence here. Seven diminished four three of two to two six, seven diminished four three of one to one six. And that brings us back to our key of C major. We continue along and we get this nice cadence, kind of imitating the previous, previous cadence uh, where we go 5, 7 to 1, this time in the key of C. Now here we've got our one chord. Simply by throwing a B flat on top of that one chord, it changes C major into C7, and C7 is 5, 7, of four, which then goes to a four chord. This four chord very frequently will go to five, and we actually first get um, this chord right here, F sharp diminished seven, which we have to call seven diminished seven of five. This is a six four. Should write that vertically. 
you see this goes F, G, A flat. Okay, and then here's the 5, 7. So this is actually a passing 6, 4. Could call it a 1, 6, 4 if you were so inclined, but its function is passing. And then here, B, D, F, A flat, 7, diminished, 4, 2, and we can hold the D over, we can hold the B over, we can hold the F over, and simply by sliding the A flat down to G, this dominant quality diminished seventh chord becomes the five seven chord. Then above this five seven, this sustains now for a very long time. And finally resolves to one down here uh, but there's a little wrench thrown in, making that a C7, that this 1 tonicizes 4. So this 1 becomes 5, 7, a 4, which goes to 4, 6, 4, because it's over a pedal. 5, 7, over a pedal, C, and 1. Through all of this section, this could just be analyzed as 5 except for this spot right here. Think about above the G chord, we could have um, G, B, D, F, that's our 5, 7. We could have G, C, E, which is our 6, 4, embellishing the 5, 3. And you can see that we have various versions of that here. Like here we go F, and then here we get, we got B and F here, we got C and E, so this is 6, 4, this is still above the 5. Um, here we get um, this and this, so this we get 7, 4, uh, which goes to 7, 3. So that's the 6, 4 resolving one step at a time. Uh, this right here is over a 5 pedal. We have this chord tonicizing 5, F sharp, A, C, E flat, 7, diminish 7 of 5. Since the G is sustaining in the bass, don't worry about the inversion of this chord because we're not hearing this E flat as the bass note of this chord. There is really no bass note to the chord. All right, so that's uh, the, the big picture of this piece. Um, and I will uh, fill in the rest of the details of this analysis, and I will post a PDF um, so you can check it out. After you've done the analysis, go back and listen to the piece again uh, a few times, sometimes looking at your analysis and sometimes just listening. See so, yeah. ya.